Legends of the world, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we talked about fade in and fade out, which makes it only appropriate now that we talk about fade toggle, which is probably, I wouldn't say one of my favorite things in jQuery, but it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. So how are we going to create an example and talk about it? Well, first things first, let's go ahead and keep our button. I'm down with that, just like that. We keep this Hasta La Vista button. We're going to change it to release the hounds. And for this example, I want to go ahead and create some circles. I want to go ahead and create some CS3 circles with some border radiuses. So let's go ahead and let's create divs. And I don't know what we'll, we'll give it an ID. I guess we'll call it circle, circle one and circle two. Close out that div. And let's go ahead and just because we're, I'm lazy. Let's go ahead and call it circle two, just like that. And I don't want to do inline CSS for this. So I'm going to go ahead and create some, some CSS outside our code. So I'll just give it style. I apologize if my microphone keyboard is loud. I still haven't figured this microphone out. I don't even want to. I don't even want to figure it out at this point. So let's go ahead and for circle one or for just circle, AKA circle one, let's give it some CSS. We'll give it a width of 50, which means we have to give it a border radius of 25 to create a circle because it's always half. And we'll give it a height of 50 as well. Surprise, surprise. Let's close this out. And we'll give it, what's going on? Border radius of 25 pixels, 25 pixels. And since we're using CSS3, keep in mind that browsers are stupid. They can't assume that we're trying to output CSS3 because it's kind of a new thing. It's not really, well, it's the standard, but it's just kind of a new thing. So what we need to do is if you're on Safari or Chrome, we need to type in WebKit. You might have seen it. It just allows that browser to understand that we're using border radius. WebKit hyphen border radius, plural, I guess radii would be singular. And it's the exact same thing. We just want our browser to be able to render it because a lot of people don't use the same browser. And if you're on uh, Firefox, surprise, surprise, this is how you call it. If you're on Firefox, Moz, border, uh, radius. If you're on Opera, I have no idea what to do. I think it's probably like Opera or an O, but I'm never on Opera. I'm supply, surprised how Opera is even still around or relevant. I'm surprised how Internet Explorer is still around. I hate Internet Explorer. And we'll give it a background color of black, I guess. And then for circle two, we'll just take the exact same stuff. And let's copy it. Let's drop it down right here in between our closing print or closing uh, bracket and our closing style HTML tag. We'll go ahead and put it in right that. And let's put the two just right there. We'll save it and let's change it to orange. We'll give it like a Halloween theme. And now up here, we got some work to do. Button click. That's what we want to keep. Fade in. Nope. We want to first off call the correct IDs. We're using ID, we're not using class because we have pound signs right here. And circle, as well as circle two, pound signs, circle two. This video took a long time to set up. We haven't even talked about fade toggle yet, but now we're getting into it. Stay focused, let's rock and roll. Okay, click function, let's go ahead and get rid of this. To function, we got this closing tag right here. This isn't right. What did that just happen? Come back. No, we gotta have the button in here. Sorry about that, guys. And then we'll put our circles in here. Circle, just like that. And let's get rid of this. And instead of fade out, surprise, surprise, guess what we're using? Fade toggle. Again, it's in camel case, just like that. Let me clean up my code a little bit. Get rid of this. Okay. Get rid of this. Uh, 
Oh, I had two clicks because we were clicking it on and clicking it back off. Yeah, the main reason for fade toggle is to click it if it's not there to bring it on. And if it is if it is there, if you want to get rid of it, click it off. So let's go to circle two. Fade toggle as well. Get this function out of here. Make sure you have the closing parameter. And let's get rid of that div tag because we don't have any more digs. Divs, sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up, see what this looks like. Open this with, I am ready for Safari, Mozilla. Let's see if my Moz worked. And it opened up in an external browser, in my external browser. Release the hounds, let's click on it, and there it goes. That's the default speed. So we're clicking it on, fade toggle if it's there. So we only have one click button. In the last video, we had two click buttons. I should have started this video out with no code at all, but we had some code, we had some debugging, we had to delete it. Show must go on. Okay, so that's what fade toggles for. So if it, if it is there, you wanna click it, you wanna get rid of it, and you can bring it back. But there's also speeds we can give this as well. There's two, like, okay, let's go ahead and create some comments now. I'll say, you can either type fast, slow, or you can give it an actual speed in milliseconds. And if you didn't know what milliseconds are, it's one thousandth of a second. So we're talking, say we'll say 4,000, which is four seconds. And for integers, they do not go in double quotations. And for this, we'll say fat. No, we'll go slow. No, because four seconds is already slow. It's kind of slow. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's see if our parameters fast and our 4,000 milliseconds check out. So let's go ahead and click on release the hounds. One, two, three, four. Perfect. That's it. Fade toggle. If it's not there, click it. It'll come back. If it is there, click it. It'll go away. All right, guys, that's fade toggle. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two in this video. Make sure you have the correct code. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.